ओके स्टार्ट करें रिकॉर्डिंग ओके सो गाइज वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सर रॉबर्ट गिफिन का कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज ऑफ टेक्निकल रीजन वॉट एपन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वॉज नॉट कंप्लीटली रिकॉर्डेड सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दैट प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ द गिफिन गुड्स कॉन्सेप्ट विच वॉज गिवेन बाय सर रॉबर्ट गिफिन राइट सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट नाउ वी वर डिस्कसिंग दैट सर रॉबर्ट गिफिन फ्रॉम स्कॉटलैंड a economist and statistician by profession he went to england hmm. he went to england and he saw what aaj next level english bolta hu aapki wali theek hai so robert giffen he went where there there where england ha ah. and when he went there he saw workers workers doing work amazing right yeah but after work was finished he observed something strange what observe strange something something what something something strange something something sir ye wali english samajh mein aa rahi hai good good so he observed that those british workers their purchasing pattern regarding inferior goods was something strange he observed that when price up demand up price down demand down hang who robert given hang pull pull hang ah uh, uh. he was shocked went to worker Well, what doing? Stupid nonsense. Price up, less demand. Price down, demand up. You doing ulta? <laughs> Idiot. Workers like you, Giffen, ah, uh, shut up. Giffen is like, what shut up? What shut up? You are doing wrong. Law of demand. So workers were like, "Giffen, you come here, sit next to us. Come, come." Giffen got scared. Bole, no, na, no, no. Workers like you come here, sit, sit, and listen. What listen? Workers are saying. Now concentrate. The workers told Robert Giffen, "That's it. Let us explain you." why this purchasing pattern is happening ki when the prices of inferior goods are going up the quantity demanded for those goods is going down the reason given by the workers is that when the price of inferior goods goes up it is still cheaper than superior goods even though the price of inferior goods is going up isn't it obvious that it will be still be less than the superior goods it's obviously not possible that inferior goods are expensive than superior goods it makes no sense we are purchasing inferior goods at a price higher than superior goods is it possible no, no not possible so even though listen to me very carefully even though when the price of inferior goods is rising it is still less expensive cheaper as compared to superior goods so come what may even if the prices of inferior goods are rising they have to demand which goods inferior goods only na so the demand is not falling either it is remaining same or it is rising clear 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 okay 
so that was the reason given by the workers when the prices go up now given is like okay i got it but what about when the prices of inferior goods are going down what is happening that uh, the quantity of inferior goods demanded is going down why what is the reason so at that point the workers told that see mr giffen what is happening over here let us make you understand when the price of inferior goods is falling right we get same quantity of inferior goods at less price do you agree with this we get the same quantity of goods at a less price so we are left with some balance money right and then with this balance money let us have a time of our life man let us enjoy let us also have the taste of superior goods because now we have funds with us right so with the balance money they go and try to buy superior goods because they also want to enjoy themselves right see when the price of inferior goods is going down with this less amount of money they are buying the same quantity of that product so they are left with what some balance money earlier that balance money was not available with them but now as the price of inferior goods goes down what happens they are left with some money in their pocket and now when i have some money what to do why to buy that inferior low quality good more instead let us have a good superior quality of a product to enjoy ourselves right so they are like ki okay if the price of inferior good is going down let us buy the same quantity or less of it and let us buy more of superior goods with the balance funds right and therefore even though when the price of even though when the price of inferior goods is going down their demand is not increasing it is same or it is going down because the public over there is trying to consume which goods superior goods that is the explanation the british workers gave to the uh, economist and statistician sir robert giffen and then once sir robert giffen got convinced like okay this is the thought process he gave a theory in his name and started calling those goods as giffen goods understood right that's it this is the logic behind giffen goods becoming an exception to law of demand are we good guys yes any query any difficulty no sir that's it perfect so here we complete with what our entire list of exceptions to law of demand anyone any query any difficulty you can ask guys come on tell me chalo bolo yes it is same inferior goods are now termed as given goods aayi baat samajh mein unko wo kya bolte hai usko naam de diya gaya hai that name has been attached to inferior goods terming them as what inferior uh, terming them as what given goods clear so it is one and the same shall we proceed from here yes sir so what all did we discuss till now first we came and we uh, we spoke about uh, what is demand so demand is what desire ability and willingness to pay how demand is created uh, desire ability and willingness how it is expressed quantity price and time then we studied what are the factors that influences the demand then we understood demand schedule individual demand schedule and market demand schedule then we spoke about demand curve it is a downward sloping curve from left to right indicating an inverse relationship between the price and quantity demanded then we started studying law of 
demand under law of demand we studied that the price rise the quantity demanded falls and as the price falls the quantity demanded rises but it is not true in all the circumstances there are certain situations certain circumstances under which this law of demand fails these circumstances are called as the exceptions to the law of demand and this was the list of nine points we studied under exceptions to law of demand any query any difficulty guys come on tell me all good yes sir chalo now let's go ahead then we'll have fun today what fun sir we'll note this entire concepts down our writing part is still pending na so we'll complete with the next topic and after completing we'll write down all the things over here what we have studied till now and then we will start with the new concept okay okay first wait let me explain you the next concept relax boys relax come on relax hello so now we are studying the next concept the next concept is rationally of law of demand we are talking about rationally of law of demand what is this rationally of law of demand rationally means what rationally means logic rationally means reasoning of law of demand what is the reason why what is the logic behind operation of law of demand ultimately why does law of demand operates what is the reason that when the price rises the quantity demanded falls and as the price falls quantity demanded rises why 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 public wants to know what is the reason behind operation of law of demand so that is the topic under consideration right now कि वाई डज लॉ ऑफ डिमांड ऑपरेट आखिर क्यू वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ ऑफ डिमांड सो दैट इज द टॉपिक रैशनले मीन्स लॉजिक मीन्स रीजन बिहाइंड द वर्किंग ऑफ लॉ ऑफ डिमांड ओके ओके इन दिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट वी हैव इज लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग marginal utility this we will keep it as what pending why because we have to study this topic in the next unit that is theory of consumer behavior we don't know what is law of diminishing marginal utility i know you know but still i'll assume that you don't know because i haven't taught you right so i assume that you don't know we will study this topic in the next unit theory of consumer behavior when we touch upon this law of diminishing marginal utility automatically i'll come back to this point and make you understand why this law of diminishing marginal utility becomes a base for operation of law of demand clear so need not worry this point over here i'll write as what pending okay okay need not worry so first point over <laughs> second point second point we talk about is price effect and under price effect we have two points number 1 substitution effect and income effect so now concentrate boys and girls everyone substitution effect now what is this substitution effect it states that the law of demand operates because of availability of substitutes mm. if substitutes are not available the law of demand will not operate law of demand will operate only because of availability of substitutes imagine a situation this water bottle hmm no substitute available for this water bottle assume okay you will be like hey, sir sir what nonsense substitute available na sir sir come on na assume as if 
the substitute for this water bottle is not available now tell me if the price of this water bottle goes up will you still demand it yes why because because substitute is not available you getting my point if the substitute was available we would have gone to another product making more of demand of that particular product and reducing the demand of this product did you understand no sir let me make you understand with our simple age old example of tea and coffee availability of substitutes tea is our original commodity tea is our original commodity and coffee is our related commodity okay okay here we write the price and here we write quantity okay and again we write away a price and here we write away the quantity hmm now we all know that other things being constant yeah other things being constant hmm so other things being like coffee that is the price of related commodity let us keep the price of related commodity which is coffee constant huh so its price is 10 10 right right tea 10 rupees 100 people are demanding tea at the same time 100 people are demanding coffee yeah now what happens the price of tea is increased from 10 to 20 how much from 10 to 20 yeah now what happens tea coffee both are substitutes of one another either this or that our purpose is solved it makes no difference to us whether we consume tea or whether we consume coffee it doesn't make any difference they are substitutes yes or no yes sir so what now when the price of tea is increased from 10 to 20 people are like hey man the tea is becoming expensive tea is becoming expensive in front of coffee see the coffee's price is unchanged in law of demand we assume that other things would be constant even the price of related commodities are assumed to be constant yes or no yes sir no problem so now when the price of tea is increased price of tea increased it goes up it's become expensive it's become what expensive as compared to coffee so what will the people like you and me do what do we do scooby do we do no <laughs> what do we do we go and drink coffee simple we go to the uh, coffee shop and we tell him give us coffee man he's like you why you to drink tea right We're like what to do man tea is becoming very expensive so from the tea stall we've come to coffee shop are yes or no yes sir so now what happens the demand for coffee increases and what happens to the demand for tea it goes down right and vice versa what if the price of tea is 5 5 rupees the people who are drinking coffee the news got to them like the tea is only rupees 5 let's go and drink tea leave coffee so all the people who are drinking coffee are now shifting towards what tea the customers are there itself but in addition to that the customers of coffee are now added right and now what you see that the demand for tea is increased and the demand for coffee is reduced now carefully you observe if i show you only this much part only this much part tan 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 
Look at this very carefully. And what do you see? Sir, as the price of tea is rising, the quantity demanded of tea is falling. And when the price of tea is falling, the quantity demanded of tea is rising. Is this the case under law of demand? Yes. And now tell me, why did this happen? As a Q hua. Why? Because of availability of a substitute which is coffee. People have an opportunity to go from here to there or from there to here. When the prices change of the original commodity. Understood? And this is the reason why the law of demand operates. Price effect. Price effect, my first point, substitution effect. Clear? Take a deep breath. Chodo. And now tell me any query. Any part you did not understand. Any part. You have to be true to yourself. Apne aap se jhoot nahi bolna. Samjha to samjha, nahi samjha to nahi samjha. I have already told you. All good? 100%? Yes, sir. Now let's go and talk about the second effect. Second, second effect? Income effect. Income effect. Income effect. Now, listen to me very carefully. Under law of demand, other things being constant. Other things being constant. Only price and the quantity demanded change because of price. Only price is allowed to change. Yes or no? Only price of the commodity will change. Other things are what? Constant. Like income of the consumer, habits, taste and preferences, climatic condition, size of the population, composition of population, climatic condition, advertisement. All other things are constant. Only price will change. Only price, price will change. Understood? Yes, sir. But then, sir, you are saying over your income effect. Sir, income constant, no, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sir, law of demand constant, no, sir. Yes, income is constant. Here we are not talking about income, but we are talking about what? Effect on income. Understood? It's the income effect. What is the impact, the effect on your income? That is what we are discussing over here, my dear friends. Understood? Understood? Yes, sir. Now, what is that effect? Imagine you have 100 rupees. Imagine. Do you have 100 rupees? Then don't imagine. <laughs> if you don't have, then imagine. Okay? Otherwise, what will happen? You will feel sad. Oh, I don't have 100 rupees. Will I be able to understand this concept? If you don't have, then assume you have. If you have, it's okay. You, know? you can feel it then. So imagine you have what? 100 rupees over here. Right? And with 100 rupees, let us say, there's this battery cell you want to purchase. Okay? This battery you want to purchase. Now this one battery is of 100 rupees. Hmm rechargeable battery expensive one battery one cell for 100 rupees okay okay so one battery one unit of battery is equal to rupees 100 right so how much balance do you have with you zero mm. oh so you are left with what zero rupees you have one battery with you now our honorable prime minister comes on national tv and says mere pyare deshwasiyo from today 8 o'clock onwards nahi 8 o'clock he'll come and he'll say from today 12 o'clock onwards this one unit of battery will be costing rupees 50 price is reduced 
सो इमेजिन यू स्टिल हैव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड नाउ वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फिफ्टी सो हाउ मच बैलेंस टू यू हैव विथ यू रुपीज फिफ्टी नाउ जस्ट कंपेयर जस्ट कंपेयर एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड थिंक थ्रू रेडी what is the thing in situation 1 you have one battery with you was 0 rupees right right yes sir in situation 2 you have one battery as well as 50 rupees with you right right does it give you the kind of a feeling listen to me very carefully does it give you a kind of a feeling that when the price has gone down i have kind of earned 50 rupees because see earlier i had one battery but no money but today i have one battery as well as 50 rupees with me it is kind of as if i've earned 50 rupees so what is the effect on your income your income has increased by 50 rupees you have not actually earned it but it is kind of an effect on your income that you may feel that your income has increased by 50 rupees hey guys you there with me yes sir it is giving a kind of a feeling aisa lag raha hai mujhe lag raha hai कि मेरा पचास रुपए बढ़ गया इनकम बढ़ गया इट्स गिविंग मी अ काइंड ऑफ अ फीलिंग दैट माय फिफ्टी रुपीज आई हैव अर्न विद अ फॉल इन प्राइस इट इज लाइक आई हैव अर्न फिफ्टी रुपीज ओके चलो टेल मी वन थिंग सिंपल योर मामा नोज योर पापा नोज दैट वन बैटरी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके ओके नाउ यूल गेट दिस देखो समझ में आ गया छोरी को किया है ऐसा काम चिड़की है so what happened papa gave you 100 rupees and he told you ki like okay go and get one battery for me 100 rupees one unit ha huh? papa is not aware about modi ji's announcement ha huh? right papa is not watching tv because remote is down and sell you want to get it right so you went into the market and then you saw that the price of this battery is now rupees 50 okay so what happened he was like okay Take fifty rupees, give me one battery, and you go home and you tell Papa, "Here is your battery." In your pocket, you have fifty rupees. It is kind of an income you've earned, but you've not actually earned. But it is giving you a kind of a feeling that you've earned the money because of the fall in price. Are you saying yes or no? Yes. Is your real income increasing? Is your real income increasing? No. But when the price is falling. it is giving you an impact an illusion as if your income has increased right right yes so now what can happen you have balance 50 rupees this 50 rupees will help you to purchase more and you can now instead of one you can purchase two batteries because you have still have what purchasing power you still have the ability to purchase more right and with the same amount of money you can have what now two batteries the quantity demanded goes up right that is what is law of demand so your income does not change hello your income does not change but it shows as if your income has gone up because of the fall in price right in other words your total income was let us say 10000 only right but when you spent 100 rupees on the battery you were left with 9900 But when the price went down, instead of nine thousand nine hundred, now you are left with nine nine five zero. It is giving as an uh, uh, like your income has increased by fifty rupees, but your income still remains how much? 
ten thousand only. But with that extra fifty rupees you have in your pocket, you can spend more money. Your purchasing power has increased. All good? Yes. Easy? Yes. Very easy. Maza a gaya. So that is the second point, my dear child. Income effect. So second point, me we studied two points under price effect. We have two points. Number one, substitution effect, and number two. Income effect, all good? Yes, sir. Let's go to the third point. Third point. Different uses, or we can also call it as multiple uses. Now, the law of demand operate because of multiple uses or different uses. Now, try to understand. A simple example. milk single use or multiple use multiple use sure yes. can you list down the things where milk is used number 1 sir milk is used for like pure drinking right then sir we use it for tea or coffee then we use it to make what sir sweets then we use it for making sir paneer right then we use it to make curd curd lassi right then we use it in sir our favorite ice cream yes or no yes sir and anything else juice milk ka juice dogle it is called as milk shake juice mane koi baat nahi hota hai umar mein sir wo hamari english yahan wahan aise nikal jati hai bhavnaon ko samjho theek hai na okay okay so मिल्क जूस इज मिल्क शेक ओके होता है ऐसे देखो नाउ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यही जो चीजें है ना आप इंप्रूव करोगे क्लास में यू मेक मिस्टेक्स इन क्लास इट्स गुड बट वेन वी मेक मिस्टेक्स वी लर्न फ्रॉम अर मिस्टेक्स इंसान अपनी गलतियों से सीखता है सो फॉर दैट यू फर्स्ट नीड टू मेक मिस्टेक्स देन ओनली यू लर्न ना नाउ इन लाइफ इन लेवर से मिल्क जूस Because he'll remember it is not milk juice, it is milk shake. Sir, वो slip of tongue sir यहाँ वहाँ फिसल जाते हैं हम लोग emotional होके सही है ना एकदम. Now lifetime will remember that. ऐसा ये यही तो अपना agenda है boss. ठीक है. So it's used in drinking, tea, coffee and etc. So you have all the list of things what we can do with the milk, right? Yes. अरे you forgot about your uh, ghee or butter as well, ना? No? it is from milk only hmm. so now try to understand now now cheese also cheese also is a product from where milk so many things we can make from milk crazy man hai na yes now try to understand this is a kind of a product which has got what multiple uses different uses right now the price of milk is right now rupees 50 a liter it's very expensive huh? 50 rupees a liter is very expensive a normal household uses of around 2 liters minimum a day that is 100 rupees in a day so in a month 3000 rupees are just gone for purchase of milk so it's expensive it's expensive right so that's why when you spill your glass of milk or you waste a glass of milk or you don't drink the milk along with the cream of milk mummy papa gets mad at you he's like ki sale tere ko peene ko kya ho raha hai kaise daatte ki nahi daatte kyu because it's very expensive try to understand you don't realize because the money is not uh, being given from your pocket mummy papa knows how much expensive it really is so you have to drink ah huh? uh, no natak no chik chik right yes when my daughter will grow up na i'll show her the same video what i'm teaching right now then she'll also drink chup chap <laughs> <laughs> so it's rupees 50 a liter very expensive so right now when we purchase milk we purchase it for a very limited use 
we purchase it for very limited use that is drinking tea and coffee that's it or at the most like it's summers right now so curd or lassi chas that's it at the most these three things sahi hai na yes because of summers these three things otherwise it is just only drinking the plain one glass of milk you drink early in the morning and tea and coffee mom dad that's it khalas finish over because it's expensive right now but now again modi ji comes and he announces mere pyare deshwasiyo and all that stuff and is like okay from tomorrow milk is rupees 25 a liter enjoy only how much 25 rupees a liter go enjoy now will you really increase the demand of milk yes why because now we will not use the milk only for drinking and tea and coffee or curd lassi but sir now when the milk is less expensive sir when milk is cheap now we'll make paneer at home only now we'll make sweets at home only you getting my point we'll be like ki isme nahi to usme kahin na kahin use kar lenge we'll use it in either this or that aan do you getting my point because it has got what multiple uses and therefore now when the price is rupees 25 a liter you will be like ki the quantity demanded of it will go up because now you will not restrict its usage only to drinking or tea and coffee or curd and lassi but now with that extra milk you purchase in the house with that extra milk now you will prepare what sweets paneer ice cream milk shakes and what not you getting my point yes sir so why did the demand for milk increase why did the demand for milk increase fall in price but with the fall in price we can use that same product in where alternative uh, things we have so many options you getting my point now imagine a situation let us have a opposite explanation to this this pen this pen you know it cost rupees 10000 how much this pen is for rupees 10000 okay now its price go down by 8000 rupees well it goes down by 2000 rupees now it is costing rupees 8000 what will i do what will i do at the most i will have one extra pen with me because just in case when i am teaching and my one pen by mistake it falls down or it's not working it's ultimately an electronic gadget which may stop functioning at any point of time you have no guarantee over it and my lecture may stop because of it so as a backup i have one extra pen so that i can torture you to the fullest <laughs> <laughs> right yes complete torture karega backup ke liye dusra pen chahiye correct na yes sir at the most i will purchase one extra pen correct na will i purchase 10 pens 20 pens when the price is going down are 20 kharid ke rakh yaar let's have 20 pen with me why because sir ultimately you are going to use it on this pc only right it's not being able to use on your mobile phone on any other device no only on this pc so it has got what only one single use so bhai main zyada kharid ke kya karunga what will i do by purchasing more of it you getting my point so even when the price go down i hardly increase my demand because it has got only what one single use you getting my point so now you get the logic behind operation of law of demand the law of demand operates because when a product has multiple uses when its price go down then the people will increase the quantity demanded the reason simply being will use it in not only in this but in that that and that understood because we have different different options with us right yes one more example to make sure that the concept is crystal clear let us talk about electricity bijli bijli 
बेटा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इमोशनल नहीं होना है ना बिजली माने इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है ना हाँ चिचोरे क्या सोच है रे तेरी सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सिंगल यूज और मल्टीपल यूज मल्टीपल यूज वी कैन यूज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन आवर मोबाइल फोन लैपटॉप एयर कंडीशनर लाइट फैन फ्रिज टीवी देन वी हैव माइक्रोवेव मिक्स ग्राइंडर इंडक्शन सो मेनी थिंग्स वी कैन यूज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन राइट यस और नो यस नाउ right now what are the things you use electricity at home sir fan light tv fridge all the basic essential things right why why only basic essential things because sir papa says that electricity is very expensive use it very wisely sir mama screams at me when i leave the room turning the fan and light leaving the fan and uh, light on mama screams at me she is like why have you left this fan and t- uh, fan and light on why are you wasting electricity it's so expensive yes or no yes so you use it for all the basic needs where electricity is needed okay okay in such hot summers one day you go home all sweaty you are like hey, papa let's have ac at home yaar it's too hot let's install ac papa please papa is like you know you ask why ac is so cheap it's also available on emi is only 20 30 000 rupees an ac papa let's take it na yaar papa is like beta it's not about 20 30 000 for an ac but what follows after installation of ac is very costly ac uses lot of power ac uses lot of power the unit consumption of uh, ac is too high and when you install ac using it at least 2 hours in a day will push your electricity bill by at least 1000 to 2000 rupees a month in addition to your normal electricity bill you getting my point yes so papa is like hey, no beta no it's not difficult to install a ac but the every month recurring expenditure that follows after installation that is very expensive and we cannot afford that and that's why we don't have ac at home okay but again one day in delhi kejriwal ji comes and announces डेली वालो आज से आपको 300 सौ यूनिट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी के फ्री आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू पे फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ पीपल आर वेरी हैप्पी 300 हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज फ्री भाई सो प्राइजेस हैव गॉन डाउन टेक्निकली और लेटर से मोदी जी कम्स एन अनाउंस इज लाइक नाउ देर इज अ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ ऑन योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल नाउ वॉट विल हैपन पापा इज लाइक लेट अस नाउ गेट ए सी मैं भी ठंडा हवा खाना चाहता हूं ना भाई सही है ना यस सो देन द डिमांड इंक्रीजेस वाई बिकॉज ए सी इज एन अल्टरनेटिव सॉरी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज वन मोर यूज इज वेर वी कैन यूज इट इन एयर कंडीशनर सो डिमांड विल राइज बाई इंस्टॉलिंग एयर कंडीशनर वॉट विल हैपन द डिमांड फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विल इंक्रीज ना एंड वाई डिड यू इंक्रीज द डिमांड फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिकॉज द प्राइज इज वेन डाउन एंड दैट विल बी यूज इन वॉट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गैजेट्स और डिवाइसेस अंडरस्टूड you know the electricity bill of this classroom how much is it a month 5 6 lakh rupees see the number of acs which are operating for the whole day whole day na so to you have to tell him bhaiya kar denge aap bolte nahi ho unko hai na hum bahut acche log hai amar apan acche hai na agar ac on karne ko bola to karte hai na apan हम अच्छे हैं दिल के एकदम सच्ची भगवान का सब ठीक है ऐसे अमर भैया है कोई भी है ना आप बोलो उन्हें सब कर देंगे ऐसे कोई डांटेंगे नहीं ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट इज द पॉइंट अंडरस्टूड सो डिफरेंट यूजेस और मल्टीपल यूजेस क्लियर अरे बोलो भाई कुछ यस सर एंड देन लास्ट पॉइंट 
लास्ट पॉइंट अराइवल ऑफ न्यू कस्टमर्स द एक्सप्लेनेशन टू दिस इज वेरी सिंपल अराइवल ऑफ न्यू कस्टमर्स द कस्टमर्स लाइक अस वेन द प्राइजेस आर हाई वी आर लाइक लेट्स वेट गिरेगा ना वेन द प्राइजेस विल फॉल ना दैट टाइम विल परचेस सो वी वेट सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ न्यू फोन इज लॉन्च राइट वॉट वी थिंक लेट्स वेट इट्स लॉन्च राइट नाउ ना वेट फॉर कपल ऑफ मंथ्स after a few months the prices will go down and at that point of time we will purchase so what happens when the prices go down the customers who could not afford it earlier with the fall in price those customers can also now purchase and the total demand goes up understood yes so that is arrival of new consumers which consumers which customers the customers who cannot afford it earlier now with the fall in price they can also afford it understood easy yes sir that's it this is the uh, what we say rational or logic of behind what operation of law of demand i hope it's good yes yes so here we complete with the concept called as what law of demand law of demand exceptions to law of demand and rationally that is the logic behind operation of law of demand all good guys any query any difficulty no sahi hai yes sir so the writing part we'll do this tomorrow because we are uh, done with our time for today right so you have your accounts lecture now so we are done with this uh, law of demand tomorrow we meet we will write after writing we will also discuss about expansion and contraction of demand a concept and then we'll start with the most important concept of this chapter that is elasticity okay so i hope things are good now yes okay that's it thank you very much guys see you tomorrow bye bye have a great 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 day i thank you